Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm Boomi and today we are watching Sloths used to be overpowered by Tier Zoo. Yes, this is basically a follow-up video to our Ice Age tier list where I saw that Ground Sloths used to be giant and very much overpowered compared to the rest of the animals in the Ice Age. So I'm curious to see how like strong they really are and how bad they've gotten now. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So remember, if you like my reactions, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below and consider subscribing. We are trying to get to a thousand subs this year, so hopefully you guys can help me out with that. Uh, also, don't forget to leave your suggestions of what I should check out next. That being said, let's go ahead and watch the video. This episode is sponsored by Brilliant. I've roasted a few builds pretty hard during the short time that I've been on YouTube. Nobody likes hearing that their main is bottom tier trash, but, well, some of the builds in this game just have the most pointless abilities, some of the most inefficient <laughs> game plans, and some of the worst matchups. And while players tend to fight me a lot on these points of contention, I expect that there won't be much disagreement with this next statement. Sloths are the worst ranked build in the entire game. Let me take a minute to show you how pathetic they are. Sloths uh, have the lowest mobility level of any mammal build, yeah. as well as one of the lowest power levels of any mammal. Incredibly In other slow. words, they have zero options when it comes to fight or flight. They can't evade or drive away any attack. So if they're ever uh, discovered by an enemy, it's game over for them. Sloths have only one defensive mechanism, their mediocre stealth. It's not mediocre. even that effective, only providing camouflage when they're motionless, forcing them to keep still a lot. It also only functions while they're in the cover of tree foliage. Unfortunately for sloth players, once a week they have to travel to the ground to go to the bathroom, as they're somehow unable to do so while hanging from trees. Yeah, boxes. that is weird. This is a huge flaw in the sloth builds. Uh, they go to the same spot, spot each time and are vulnerable to predation while doing so. <laughs> that is so stupid. Strategy. They can just over half of let it hang there. Eventually get their playthrough ended while attempting this ridiculous task. It's so dumb. Another big flaw in the sloth strategy is their awful source of energy, leaves. Leaves provide so little stamina regeneration yeah. that sloths can't even dream of leveling up their mobility. The choice to specialize into consuming only leaves is the reason they're forced to min-max, keeping their power and mobility at the minimum possible value. All of their unused evolution points have to be spent on stealth and digestion <laughs> in order to get any value out of the nutrients. But even That's there, so there's a dumb. massive flaw in their strategy. The only way sloths can digest the leaves is because they've spent evolution points turning their digestive tract into a suitable habitat for bacteria that can break down the leaves. Without these bacteria, sloths can't digest their food. But if it gets too cold, <laughs> the bacteria die, meaning that the sloth what? will starve to death even on a full stomach. Hey guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt the reaction, but I just want to let you know that if you're enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you guys leave a like. Uh, leave a comment as well and consider subscribing. We are trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year So hopefully you guys can help me out with that and that's it back to the reaction No, by now I'm sure you're asking that why any so outside dumb. player would want to play as they're basically like risking it all on the bacteria to digest stuff That is stupid. I'm still surprised why they're still around to be honest uh, evolution should have just kicked them off the curb by now. ...as a sloth. And to be honest, it's mostly due to nostalgia, because the sloth class used to be awesome. In addition to the arboreal sloths in the game today, there used to be two other important sloth builds. The first was an aquatic variant that challenged and ultimately failed to compete with dugongs and manatees for the niche of best aquatic tank. The other sloth build was the giant ground sloth, one of the top tiers of the Ice Age meta. Yeah. While they shared the low mobility of other sloths, instead of min-maxing for stealth, these builds were optimized for power, power essentially defense, mimicking yep. the Therizinosaurus build in the Cretaceous meta. This meant that it was one of the only herbivore builds that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the short-faced bear, and could literally one-hit the legendary Smilodon. <laughs> when it comes to Ice Age tank builds, only the oh, mammoth ranked higher, so mostly big. due to its higher intelligence. That's so why is said. it that of all the sloth builds, only the tree sloths survived the Anthropocene update? Well, it turns out that it's for the same reason that they're low tier. Most Ice Age top tiers were wiped out by the invasion of humans, Makes and sense. giant ground sloths were no exception. Despite being able to easily one-shot humans with their claw swipes, 
giant sloths had no defense against projectiles. Yeah. And since their stealth was so low, humans had no trouble finding and eliminating every single one of them. Humans have mastered basically every single zone of play, except for the arboreal zone. Humans get a huge movement penalty if they try climbing through treetops, <laughs> and are extremely vulnerable that to fall true. damage. And that since so tree true. sloths aren't exactly worth a ton of XP, humans mostly left them alone. Now, don't get the wrong idea here. If you're looking for a good character to play as in Outside, I do not recommend the Sloth. Sloths are such an easy win for other arboreal players that Harpy Eagles intentionally leave them alive in their home territory so that they can be used as practice when training new players. Wow. That said, it just goes to show you that sometimes... Imagine your whole, like, whole clan just being used as target practice for the young eagles. Sometimes it pays to be low tier, since Damn. being a powerhouse kind of puts a target on your head. If you like watching my okay. channel, chances are... Brilliant segue, so we're gonna skip that for now. And yeah, they really fell from grace from that one. I guess it does make sense that they survived, but do they really like procreate too much that it can outweigh their, um, how do you call this, predation? Like, are they making enough babies that they can, uh, they're like they're out, well, they make more babies than they are dying is what I'm trying to say. So... Hmm, that is interesting. Koalas as well, I know, are pretty much useful, useless. Uh, there was... Oh man, where was that? Um, I think it was in a Life, Life is Strange live stream that uh, MatPat had a very long rant when it comes to how bad koalas are. So yeah, I suggest you go ahead and find that if you want to know why, but... That's gonna be it for me today guys, link to my twitter is down in the description below, go ahead and check it out if you want to, and if you're new here and enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if any of your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below, and consider subscribing, again we are trying to get to a thousand subs this year, so hopefully you guys can help me out with that, also don't forget to leave your suggestions on what I should check out next, that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time, bye!